sharing. Whether planned or unplanned, sharing is one of the great joys of life. Teaching is a method of sharing some of man's accumulated knowledge. Inquiring young minds quickly absorb the shared facts when they are presented with an imaginative flair. National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Kennedy Space Center, Florida, is a comparatively small spot on the Big Earth, but within its boundaries is one of the largest storehouses of technological discoveries. Discoveries which bring continuing changes in the lives of men on planet Earth. Discoveries which were the result of developments leading to the exploration of space and landing men on the moon. For a decade or more, Kennedy Space Center has had the joy of sharing elements of these discoveries with the public. With skill and imagination, much of this acquired knowledge has been translated into fascinating displays and animated exhibits. They have been characterized as stimulating, instructive, and provocative. Combine these displays with lecture demonstrations, motion pictures, and a guided tour and learning becomes an exciting experience. From the beginning, NASA has encouraged students of all ages to visit the Space Center. And from public and private schools and colleges, they arrive on their prearranged day. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, church groups, or any organized youth group of 20 or more may be qualified for the special educational group rate. Customarily, the group leader reports to the Visitor's Information Center Reservations Office. Here, the lecture tour sequence is finalized and tour tickets are issued. Should there be a short delay before the bus is ready or the lecture hall is cleared, nearby exhibits command attention. Most groups allow an hour or more following the tour and lecture demonstration so students will have time to appreciate the many things to see indoors and out. New and different displays are being added all the time, too. So there's always something fresh to interest those who visited the center previously. The bus tour departure point is at the east end of the visitor's information center. The driver is also the tour guide, who provides a running commentary on the highlights and sidelights of the tour. Because KSC periodically hosts foreign visitors, the tour commentaries have also been taped in Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. Generally, any areas of special interest for your group will be emphasized in the lecture demonstration. The 50-mile bus tour lasts about two hours with two stops en route. Operational restrictions may determine the stops selected, but possibilities include the flight crew training building where astronauts rehearse their moon landings in computer-controlled simulators. Or you might stop at Mission Control. Or the blockhouse at Pad 37, from which meteoroid detection satellites were launched and the earliest Saturn Apollos were tested. Advanced preparations for launch of the space shuttle, scheduled for the 1980s, will be pointed out and explained. The awesome vehicle assembly building also may be one of your stops. 
either before or after the bus tour, student groups may attend the 45-minute lecture demonstration. The presentation may be tailored upon request to emphasize areas of special interest. Time is provided for your group to ask questions and get answers. Already three hours have passed. That could be considered a minimum time frame for your visit. Most student groups plan a stay of four to six hours, including time for a lunch or snack. Of course, food service is available at the VIC, offering sandwiches, dairy products, and refreshing cold drinks. Many bring their own sack lunches and find a shady spot to discuss the things they've seen and heard. The snack bar's popularity has led to expansion of the food services. What next? Well, there's a 20-minute motion picture of NASA's current and far-flung activities. The hallways of the Visitor's Information Center are filled with models of historic spacecraft, push-button activated displays, a number of byproducts of space research, full-scale mock-ups of propulsion systems and actual space hardware. Immediately outside the building, there's a full-sized lunar lander, Apollo Command service modules, and various rocket stages and engines. If you're fortunate, you may meet a man in an astronaut space suit and learn how it protects him in the hostile vacuum of space. You may even see him demonstrate the Earth version of the lunar rover, which expanded the areas of moon exploration. Oh, and one final tip. If it's time to leave and some of the students are missing, check the souvenir store. Visitors of all ages find the displays of space-related merchandise as fascinating as NASA hopes your field trip to space frontiers has been for you. Before you leave, make sure everyone is accounted for and no personal effects have been left behind. Kennedy Space Center thanks you for letting us share. It's our hope that each individual leaves enriched in understanding and knowledge of some of the details of America's continuing exploration of space.